So big question. I wrote about uh, leaders putting themselves second to their employees and I even called the book Leaders Eat Last. The question is, why should they do that? Well, it creates an environment of trust and cooperation. It's what happens when the people in the organization believe to the core of their being that their leader would sooner sacrifice their own interests to take care of them and their growth. The natural biological response to that is trust and cooperation. However, if the people believe to the core of their being that the leader would sacrifice them to protect their own interests, using layoffs so that they can maintain their bonus or meet some arbitrary projection, for example, the natural biological reaction to that kind of behavior is cynicism, paranoia, mistrust, and self-interest. In other words, you get the culture that you build and leaders are responsible for building the culture. Just like a parent, feeds their children before they feed themselves, we expect a parent to take care and prioritize the needs of their children over themselves. A bad parent is somebody who ignores the children so that they can go out for a night on the town, for example, as opposed to getting a babysitter, as opposed to leaving them alone. Um, same thing for leaders. Uh, a good leader is exactly like a good parent. They want to see those around them grow, build self-confidence, learn skills, discipline them when necessary, also that they can achieve more than we could have ever dreamed for ourselves. And the response is a deeply trusting, wonderful, loving relationship.